everybody what's up guys I'm over here at um, a rest area in the good old state of West Virginia can I help you do I have any what I do yeah absolutely Nope, I got you. This guy's now asked for a blank comp check, so I'm gonna hop in the truck real quick. See old flash right there. And uh, looks like he's having a little bit of trouble on his truck. And I'll be back here uh, shortly, guys. Alright, where was I? So, we're over here at a rest area in uh, West Virginia. Uh, going to put a couple steps in. I did a little bit of stepping up the stairs and down the stairs a day for about two or three minutes. Had the old heart rate up to 192. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm going to turn this around real quick for you. But, got old flash right there you got the sun going down over there and uh, got a pretty cool little you know watch I remember watching uh, uh, Tulsa trucker or uh, I think that's his name who's Chad's gonna be uh, training next and uh, he talks about the rest areas there's those steps I was going up and down on today about how some of them are really nice and especially out west um, you got some really nice um, rest stops and a lot of them actually have like little walking trails this one unfortunately does not but uh, it's got a little place for the dogs and and everything so yeah so let me tell you uh, well I guess it said take three because I don't know what is not happening it's not turned off on me but back to what I was saying Heather said it didn't post for some reason so I hadn't even checked it to see if it had posted but um, so I'm currently on my way to Connecticut to uh, deliver in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, but was in an Indianapolis and got sent to Marion, Indiana, which then sent me back through Kentucky to Winchester, uh, Kentucky. And once I got over in Winchester, the guy uh, called, left a voicemail on the phone. And he said he was from the Fayette County Investigative Department, which is Fayette County's Lexington, Kentucky area. So it kind of freaked me out. So he said that I had, um, was getting ready to get a warrant issued for my arrest because I had a failure to appear and a attempt of court. So kind of, like I said, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because I never had any issues with anything, so didn't know what they was talking about. Anyways, long story short, it was a scam. Um, but in so let me let me back up here a little bit. In real estate, for 13 years, guys, you should hear. Um, I heard some of the stories that I heard of people trying to scam people out of money and when they was a lot of doing a lot of foreclosures and short sales I mean people lost their life savings um, 20 and 30 thousand dollars over scams so and dummy me so I was sitting in save a lot uh, distribution center ready to uh, deliver but I got there like I don't know like seven hours early so my wife was got off work we was going to go eat dinner when she actually got to the truck to get me uh 
I was on the phone with this guy and again long story short they wanted me to come down to the Fayette County Sheriff's Department to um, basically fill out an affidavit that I had not signed for a signature of a certified mail basically something it was supposedly something like jury duty but it was for something else similar to that but a judge had found me in contempt of court because I didn't appear to I didn't show up to what I said I was going to show up for and when they said that I signed it I was on the road so I know I hadn't signed anything so I was on my way to the sheriff department and sorry about that guys I had a little Mingy's beef jerk in my mouth but so when I was on my way to the sheriff department this things wasn't starting to click and add up and so as the closer we got he kept on he, well, he said oh well, well my wife said are they going to be any um, you know any fines or you know fees or whatever and it ended up being totaling like $984 I mean it was crazy $984 so I was um, expressing my yeah I was I wouldn't be in very uh, I don't know professional I should say because I told me as a bunch of hogwash that if somebody didn't have the money that blah 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 and find out when I got closer to the Fayette County Sheriff Department they asked me to stop by Kroger to get a voucher of course at that point I called uh, the Fayette County Sheriff Department and they said it was a scam hang up blah 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 and you know kind of freaked me out guys just to be honest with you because you know when you're out here traveling the roads and somebody tells you that you know that something happens that you know you got a, a warrant out for your arrest and you think about you know you got this equipment you got a load and you know you haven't done anything but I guess just the fear of the unknown uh, really kind of set in with me and I was just like you know all right so that's what kind of made me gullible in a sense um, but I've just seen a lot of uh, a lot of family a lot of friends kind of hang on say be jerked over by the police but they they've told them one thing and been another thing and that's that was my biggest concern so anyways sorry about the lack of videos here lately but evidently this one did not post yesterday so I figured I'd make another one while walking around uh, get some steps in so I don't know I've got about 7,000 steps in already for the day and uh, just will be uh, trucking away to Connecticut but I'll have more footage for you on this video as well we'll make it too long but uh, you guys have yourself a great day be safe i'm gonna flip this around to kind of show you the scenery of uh, what i'm looking at but you guys have a good one so it's kind of like the vending machine area you got old flash down there you got this guy who's having some the, the truck problems that uh i gave him a couple calm data checks But you got the little rest area. Got a pretty little. That's a pretty cool thing about most rest areas. They usually have a some type of monument and a you know a flagpole. Most of them have the little dog runs in them. This is actually a smaller one than most that I've seen. So get the sun down. Sun going down over there. But. You guys be safe be good and have a good one